Good morning and happy December 12th. It is about 5.45 in the morning. And lucky for me, it is a work from home day today because it is pouring rain right now and I really do not like driving in the rain. So I'm very pleased that I get to stay home today. I was gonna do laundry today and my laundry room is like a couple yards down, well, quite a few yards down. And so I probably won't do that if it's still raining. I'm working from home tomorrow as well. So it's absolutely fine. I can always do that tomorrow or I might wait to see if there's a break in the rain, but I'm getting a little bit later of a start today because I don't know if you all do this, but if you ever find something in your house that's like wrong or awry or there's a mess, like I have to clean it right then or it's gonna bother me. And so my uh, bathroom sink was kind of like not going down all the way. So I like untwisted the little thing or I'm sure there's a name for it. And I pulled it out and it was gross super duper gross so at five o'clock in the morning i took it upon myself to clean it and i feel much better about myself and so i just like got all the gunk off rinsed it off nothing super high or technical what i did do for the drain is i put a little baking soda in there and then some vinegar love a good like elementary school science experiment which i learned from a plumber can help to kind of like clean out and get rid of some of that gunk in the drain we in a very very much so safe way so i did a little bit of that um, i'm just gonna let that sit while i am doing my workout at home and then i'll run some hot water through it so that's how the morning started but i have a ton of work to do and then um, especially because it's such a gloomy probably gonna be such a gloomy day it'll be perfect for cuddling up on the couch and doing some knitting <laughs> It's a miracle y'all the shawl there she is is dry so somehow i think i did a good job uh, squeegeeing out the water um when i blocked it so it's already dry i'm gonna take it off the blocking mats add on these babies and then take some pics <music> So it is currently not raining. <laughs> so I am going to take this opportunity to go put my laundry in and I'm probably gonna have an early lunch cause I'm kind of hungry. Plus I can always have a snack in the afternoon if I get hungry before I make dinner. So I'm gonna get these chores going and then probably do some work on, um, ooh, I always forget this, my advent uh, sock stripe knitting for today. It is mid-afternoon or so, and I have had lunch, got a good chunk of work done. Um, I also was able to finish folding my laundry, which feels really good. And I have a couple things that I do wanna get done. So I have one more chunk of work that I just wanna blast through. And then I want to, oh God, now I forgot. I was like, I have all these things that I want to talk to them about. And now I've forgotten all the things. Um, what I do want to do is enter my, the socks that I finished yesterday, as well as my MCAL shawl into my knitting journal that I have. This is something um, that I picked up after seeing the Crazy Sock Ladies knitting journal. And I'll talk through all of that, what I do with that um, after I put in those different entries. So I want to make sure that is updated and then 
Uh, the socks are a gift, so I'm gonna wrap that gift, cut off those ends, because um, I think I just got so excited I put them on the sock blockers. So I do need to snip those ends, there's not too many, which is great. And then I got this new contraption, um, <laughs> uh, off of Amazon. It is a, like a gift wrap holder container thing. Cause for a while I had just been sticking, um, like my different wrapping papers into the same bag as what my Christmas tree goes in, but it was just kind of messy and I didn't love that. And then I saw this on Amazon and it was like $10. So I think I'm going to put all of my things into that. Um, kind of get that out of the way. And then I am going to try and speed through these socks. So I have finished, woo, bright, bright, the gusset decreases. And I have just started working on the rest of the foot here. And luckily the person that this is for has a teeny tiny little foot. Um, so I only actually have to do 30 rounds for the foot before I start the toe. So I should be able to get this done tonight and then that will be amazing because that means that that present for that person is fully done and I can get that all wrapped and then I can just focus on the knee warmers which haven't been started at all. So I'm gonna get going on all of these things on my mental task list. Hopefully they all stick in there and I'll check in with you later. I forgot something. <laughs> so what I did want to do before I started um, the rest of the tasks is open today's advent. So for day 12, we have Faye. So let's see what Faye has to offer. Oh, oh, offer us. Oh, how cute. It's precious. Oh, look at this little guy. Plus she gave me one. <laughs> light bulb stitch marker. Fantastic. Gabs doesn't really like these, but I use my light bulb stitch markers all the time. This is cute. How precious. And it's going to go wonderfully with the whole gray theme. So perfect. <laughs> is my knitting journal. I have had it going since January 2021. So she is pretty full of stuff here. I have some decorations in there. I had some goals. Have I done any of them? Not really. Some of them. Some of them are done. That's the little stars, but nah, it's fine. My very first entry was some socks that I had made. Um, and then kind of partway through doing the journal, my dad had got me my Canon um, IV mini print um, along the way. And that's where I was able to start putting in pictures of the different projects that I've made. I always put in um, the different yarns that I've used. I like to use washi tape. I have quite an extensive collection because um, I also like to do card making um, to get the yarn stuck in there, but we are going along. So I still have quite a few pages left. So I'm just going to keep going in this journal until I run out of pages and then I'll get a new one. But what I typically like to put in there is the title of the project when I started it and when I finished it. And then the yarn that I used, 
as well as the, um, well, I forgot to write what pattern this was, but I'll remember. That's all right. Usually I write the yarn, what pattern it was, and then any like kind of relevant basic project details, like needle size, stitches cast on, what size I made, especially if it's a garment, and then any notes of like, this was my first egg cow, or which I also forgot to write there. <laughs> um, or modifications that I might have made to the project if it was made for someone. I'll note that there and yeah, I just put in a little bit of it. I like to do different colors for the different um, projects and I try to pick a pen color that coordinates with the project. So it keeps it fun and it's kind of nice to kind of just flip through this every time I finish a project to remind myself of all the things that I've made and where I started and now where I've gotten to. my friends it has been a victorious night because we have socks <laughs> very productive i finished this pair of socks so that means this gift is all done and double victory because unbeknownst to me i was playing a game of yarn chicken and i don't know how this happened because i'm pretty confident that this dark brown was a 20 gram skein or mini skein which is plenty of yarn for me but this is how much I had left at the end of the sock but we made it no big issues we have plenty of the main color left so I can just put this back in the stash and it is actually only about 6 15 so I'm gonna go ahead and wind up the gray yarn that I got for those knee warmers that I need to make so we are we are on schedule for the gift knitting, I'm feeling quite proud of myself tonight. <laughs> 